Guys, welcome to the world premiere of the all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. It's a compact crossover pickup and we get all the official information right here, right now. So we have all the official video and images, specifications including engines, towing, uh, available features on the inside, and all the tech that comes along with it. So I'm gonna show you all of that stuff, including some very cool utility features on this little pickup. And of course, tell you when it's available. So let's dig in right here, right now. So the images you see behind me in the video show the unique style of this new Santa Cruz truck. And this, it's been a long time coming. We first saw that prototype years ago and a lot of prototypes actually driving in public in camouflage, but finally it's right here. And the front end is super, super unique. You get a unique Hyundai design that kind of matches some of the other vehicles in their lineup, but then these daytime running lamps are actually built into the grill and it's unmistakable. When you see this coming at you, uh, I think you'll recognize it immediately. And what you see actually down below in the bumper area, slightly below those daytime l running lights, are actually the main headlights, um, actually positioned a little bit lower. I interrupt this video for this week's CFL Bids Bargain. We have many cool off-road SUVs and trucks for sale at tflbids.com. And this week, it's a very special truck a 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor. It's a crew cab, it's in great condition, and it has the latest Fox Life valve shocks. It has lots of cool features, including these customized wheels. And Nathan gives us a personal walk around of this truck to show the exact condition. Check it out using the link below, tflbids.com. And don't forget, you can use that submit link to actually sell your truck or SUV at TFL Bids and have it go to a good home with a like-minded enthusiast. Let's take a look at the profile and actually the size of this thing. Um, the profile is really sleek. It kind of reminds of a crossover, which is actually it shares a lot of the components with the Hyundai Tucson for 2022, actually. But the sizing of this truck um, is kind of in between. It's a little bit smaller than uh, a mid-sized truck would be um, considered. So the wheelbase on the Santa Cruz is 118.3 inches, which is about seven inches shorter than the Honda Ridgeline. And it's also about ooh, nine inches shorter than the Toyota Tacoma crew cab. So uh, this is indeed a smaller vehicle than a mid-sized truck that we're used to. Uh, length is very similarly um, smaller, about 15 inches smaller or uh, shorter overall than the Ridgeline and about uh, ooh, 17 inches shorter than the Tacoma. Tacoma, of course, is the best seller in the midsize segment, but Hyundai is actually trying to create their own segment here. They're calling this vehicle the sport adventure vehicle. So it's not truly a traditional truck, of course, because it's based on the unibody chassis, um, but it still has a bed. So let's kind of dig in a little bit further and see what it's really like. By the way, width of this uh, new Santa Cruz is about 75 inches, which kind of matches the Tacoma. And it's a little bit narrower, of course, than the Ridgeline. And height, it's pretty actually short vehicle, 66.7 inches tall, about three inches shorter in height overall than the Tacoma or the Ridgeline. Of course, design was very important for the Santa Cruz. It was designed at their California design studios. And you can see a lot of different Easter eggs throughout the Santa Cruz on the wheel arches, on top of the bed, on the, um, actually on the bumper. And the rear taillights transition from the sides into the tailgate. And the tailgate has a traditional flip down feature. Uh, Hyundai didn't specify actually payload numbers, but the good news is, is that Roman and Tommy are in Arizona right now as we speak with a Hyundai Tucson and also the Santa Cruz. So if you follow it on TFL Now channel um, and also on our social medias and our, our website, uh, you should see their personal walk around of the new Santa Cruz as well, which is very, very unique and special, of course. So let's continue with the powertrain choices. Uh, there's gonna be two engines available in the new Santa Cruz. They are the 2.5 liter 
direct injected naturally aspirated four cylinder and Hyundai rates the engine at at least 190 horsepower and at least 180 pound feet of torque those numbers might be a little bit higher when they finally go to production in June of this year and this engine is basically a base entry uh, powertrain with an eight-speed automatic transmission so don't expect a manual transmission here of any kind uh, that's the base uh, powertrain so basically a four-cylinder with an eight-speed automatic with a torque converter then if you want more performance um, well they have you covered because they're also offering a 2.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with at least 275 horsepower and at least 310 pound-feet of torque this is major power, especially for a smaller vehicle like this. This is basically the same, almost the same numbers as the 2.3 liter turbocharged engine from Ford in their bigger and slightly heavier, potentially Ranger truck. So this is a lot of power. This power is going to the ground via an eight-speed DCT, so a dual clutch transmission. So it's not a traditional automatic. The DCT transmission with this turbo engine has paddle shifters, so it's supposed to provide you a more sporty experience. Of course, we haven't driven this configuration exactly um, in a truck like this, so when we do, of course, we'll make a video for you and you will see exactly what it's like. Then, we have to talk about off-roading a, a bit because this is a, supposed to be an adventure vehicle for different lifestyles. You know, going to concerts, going to the beach, going camping. Um, usually uh, you have to take a dirt road or two. Um, so advanced H-Track all-wheel drive system is gonna be available, of course, on the Santa Cruz. This is kind of a clutch-based system uh, for front to rear uh, power distribution. They do have the center locker feature, so you can appropriate about equal power front and rear at the same time. So hopefully this will offer really good performance um, in tough situations or on wet or icy or snowy pavement uh, roads as well so that's of course is available we have to talk about utility so i'll start with towing and then go to some of the features which are actually very cool uh, so towing with a base engine the non-turbocharged engine towing rating is going to be 3500 pounds well, that's what we were guessing, kind of 3,500 pounds of where, my opinion, where Santa Cruz would have landed. So I was like, okay, so 3,500 pounds is just fine. And then they're saying, by the way, the turbocharged engine will tow up to 5,000 pounds. So yes, that's a very good capability for a vehicle like this. It matches most mid-size SUVs and crossovers for towing. So if you talk about, or if you think about like the Santa Fe or the Toyota Highlander, uh, some vehicles like this also are rated to tow about 5,000 pounds. Also, the Honda Ridgeline uh, pickup is rated at 5,000 pounds. So Hyundai is kind of matching those guys on that towing capacity. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how it actually performs when towing. The Santa Cruz will come with an optional 20-inch wheel. You can kind of see here. And also an 18-inch wheel will be available. So let's take a look at the bed on this pickup. Well, it's a little bit short. so. Um, it's between about 48 to 52 inches depending on how you measure near the top of the bed or at the bottom. So it's about a four foot bed space, uh, which is smaller than a typical midsize truck. A typical crew cab midsizer usually have a five foot bed length. So as you can see here, Hyundai is providing a few images of what's possible. So you can carry a mountain bike, like in this image, um, kind of diagonally in this bed. You can carry lots of gear and, um, of course, lots of different options. There are D-rings to help you tie things down on both sides. There are little storage compartments on both sides. There's also power outlets and this, uh, the in-bed trunk space. Very, very similar concept to the Honda Ridgeline. So you can kind of open up some of the floor and actually put your um, stuff you need to secure a little bit more, you know, out of uh, sight, out of mind. and um, actually kind of a locking mechanism there as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the spare tire is, so um, we'll have to wait and see about how that goes and where it's mounted, probably underneath. You can see a lot of um, tie-down solutions, different Easter eggs, and then finally this, the tonneau cover. Uh, they're gonna offer this accessory, which is kind of a roll-up cover, where you can kind of flick a latch and it retracts 
and kind of protects your cargo uh, from the elements um, and also from, you know, so it's not visible to others um, walking by your vehicle. So that's a very neat feature. I wish more trucks would have, you know, cool stuff like this immediately available as part of the package. Now let's get to the interior. It's a, obviously a four-door crew cab and different trim levels will be available, of course. Um, and here, Hyundai didn't provide exact dimensions for all the leg room and hip room and headroom measurements, but as you can see, it's kind of a compact vehicle, of course, but still seat belts for five people. Uh, underneath the rear seat, there is a storage box, very similar to a traditional truck, in fact, where you can find also your tools and your, uh, your jack for your vehicle, but also uh, a way to store some of your items so they don't roll around. And then of course you have a plethora of technology up front. It kind of has this dual cockpit uh, setting where the driver and the front passenger have kind of similar design as far as their dashboard is concerned. Of course the driver has all the gauges, digital screen um, with of course all the gauges and different drive modes from normal to sport to smart uh, driving modes. And if you're, if you're familiar with Hyundai vehicles, uh, they're using kind of the same technologies uh, in the Santa Cruz as well. Then, of course, in the center stack, you have a, approximately a 10-inch infotainment screen with all the latest technologies, um, including wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's very handy. Um, some other vehicles are now offering this uh, throughout their lineups. So that means you don't have to take out your phone and plug it in. It's, it's, it can connect to your pickup in this case. Uh, without you actually touching your phone, which is which is really handy. Then of course you have a selection of driver assistance technologies, what they call smart sense. Standard tech includes forward collision avoidance with pedestrian and cyclist detection. Lane keep assist is there, driver attention warning system is there, and then there is a plethora of optional features. Um, and of course uh, that includes you know smart cruise control, which is basically adaptive cruise control and rear collision uh, assist. So when you're backing up and it senses an obstacle behind you, it will warn you, the driver, and then if um, collision is still uh, imminent, it will actually help uh, mitigate the collision by applying the brakes. That's a, a helpful feature, unless you're towing uh, and it thinks your trailer is an obstacle. Hopefully they figure that out and it's really smooth in operation. Also available is Hyundai Digital Key System uh, for controlling and monitoring some of the features of your pickup remotely. Blue Link is also available, of course, as many other Hyundai vehicles uh, as well. Uh, powertrain warranty is still 10 years, 100,000 miles powertrain, and limited warranty on the whole vehicle is five years, 60,000 miles. So still very good coverage there as well. And of course, also luxury features like heated seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charging, uh, all those things um, are also available. But Honda did not specify pricing, so we don't know exactly how much the Santa Cruz will cost. Um, I'm guessing it's going to have very competitive pricing and so somewhat similar to the 2022 Tucson. That's just my guess for now. Like I said, they're gonna start production at the Montgomery, Alabama plant in June, and it should be available, they say, in the summer. So think about like July, August, September timeframe where it's actually gonna be at the dealers, and you can go out and test drive this and actually uh, purchase one. So I'm looking forward to driving it, and stay tuned, like I said, to other coverage. Roman and Tommy are gonna be in person with this truck, bringing you all the latest information and actually get inside of it and show you everything that you need to know about the Santa Cruz. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world independent and honest reviews.